Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am making lamb chili. This recipe is so delicious, so easy, so simple to make. So let's get into the video. I sprayed my pot with some cooking oil. If you don't want to, then you can skip that part. I'm adding two packets of ground lamb. You guys can substitute with whatever meat you want. You can have beef, chicken, turkey. If you don't want to add any meat, then you don't have to. You can skip this part. Make sure your heat is on medium high heat and just break the meat apart. I love onions in my chili, so I am going to be using one thing of onion and we're going to slice it into smaller pieces. Let the onions and the lamb cook together for a few minutes. I'm using some fresh garlic. I have about a handful of uh, garlic cloves and I'm using a little metal piece to smash down my garlic. Um, it is a tool that we Indian people use when it comes to making a garlic ginger chili paste. So I have that. I also have a traditional mortal and pesto, but I did not feel like using it because the less, less dishes, the better. I'm going to cook my garlic for a few minutes and wait until the meat has become brown. In the meantime, grab some vegetables, whatever vegetables you guys want to add. I know some people like to add carrots and celery, but in our house, we love bell peppers. So I'm using two red bell peppers and one green peppers. Oh, and oh my God. I just remembered <laughs> because this video I recorded it over a week ago and I remember when we went to the store and these bell peppers were a dollar forty no it was a dollar eighty five each bell peppers are so expensive it was just like 88 cents like uh, maybe a month ago and now it's uh, one dollars and 85 cents so it's it's a uh, it's getting it's getting expensive guys but you know we love bell peppers so we're gonna add that in our chili and we're gonna let that cook for a few minutes Also, I recently found out there is tomato paste in a tube. This entire time, we have been buying those cans and they go to waste because we don't use it for a very long time. We either have to freeze it or it's uh, freezer burned and we have to throw it away and I just recently like a few months ago I discovered there is a tomato paste in a tube this is so much better like we don't have to cut it open we don't have to transfer it in a bowl we can just leave it inside the tube and then put it back in the fridge anyways we're gonna add a few squirts of that I'm adding some pepper some chicken bouillon onion powder garlic powder these are all the seasonings that I'm adding in my chili, which are Italian seasonings, paprika, mustard powder, cayenne pepper, taco seasonings, cumin powder, chili powder, and salt. You guys can add whatever spices, whatever ingredients you like. This is totally up to your taste. 
I'm adding two cans of pinto beans undrained and two cans of kidney beans drained. I usually do like to add black beans but I did not have any. I'm also using the Rotel diced tomatoes in the green chili flavor, a little bit of chicken broth and I'm going to cook it for about an hour and a half depending on how long it takes for my chili to cook down and to look thick. I like thick chili but you guys don't have to. If you want to make it fast then you guys can cook this under like 30 minutes or 45 minutes. Again it all depends on how thick or how watery of a chili you guys like. And I am cooking this on medium low heat and every 30 minutes I did check on them. I also like to smash my beans while they're cooking. It just kind of speeds up the process and the chili can look more thicker. That's just my opinion. I don't know if you guys uh, agree with me or not, but I feel like if you smash the beans, it becomes more thick, which I really like. I feel like chili is incomplete without these toppers, so I'm cutting up some onions, cilantro, jalapenos, and thank god these jalapenos were spicy, because every time I get jalapenos, I feel like they're not good, they're not spicy, but this time they were pretty good, so I appreciate that. <laughs> um, adding some tomatoes as well. And there you go guys, this chili turned out super delicious, I was super happy about it, I'm already craving it. I hope you guys try this recipe and let me know if you do try it and let me know how you guys liked it. If there's any tips or recommendations, do let me know. I am open to suggestions and if there's any other recipes you guys want me to try, do comment below so that I can make them. But for now guys, enjoy and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!